Hey everybody and welcome back to Duality 9X where we showcase some of the weirdest unexplainable videos that are going viral on the web and uh, if, if, you, if you had a chance to take a look at some of the videos that I posted last time wow that was that was pretty crazy but we got a whole new set of videos here that we're gonna talk about so let's go Okay, so our first video. It burns on the way out. Bigs aren't considered things I wish I'd never learned. Your bum hole has taste buds, which is why spicy food burns on the way out. Bigs aren't considered vegan because of the high number of dead wasps inside them. Tarantulas can swim in the water. When a woman is giving birth, her large intestines can slip out her bum hole. You'll spend about 5,000 hours of your life simply looking for misplaced items. CNN has a pre-recorded broadcast that they plan to air when the world is ending. Voice actor for Peter Pan was only 30 when he was found dead in an abandoned warehouse covered in beer mm -hmm. bottles and religious pamphlets and was unidentified for days. Average pair of dirty underwear contains a tenth of a gram of poop and when you put it in the washing machine it just slowly starts coating the inside of your washing machine. Whether you're aware of it or not you're constantly swallowing snot and by the end of the day you've what? averaged what? about one or two cups of snot consumption. Nightmare on Elm Street is based on a true story. This lady doesn't often even so blink. Overfed that by the time they're killed they can't stand because their legs can't hold up their body. It's a phenomenon called ballooning where thousands of okay. spiders will fall from the sky wow uh d d d things i wish i'd never learned this lady was talking like this and she just kept talking about different kinds of videos without blinking her eyes see i just blinked a couple i i don't know how she does it uh cnn has a pre-recorded broadcast uh, that they're going to air when the world is ending. I wonder who's going to be in there. And what what if the world was ending, say, like, I don't know, 20, 30 years from now? Is it going to be old anchors from... Hmm. <sighs> Interesting. Let's see what else we got. On to the next... Okay, so, 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 I, I get these random videos, okay, I, there was one video that I, that last time, that I actually knew that we were going to play, and it was kind of like a three-part series, um, but these other videos, I don't know, so, you know, they, they're just kind of randomly given to me, and, you know, I react, I, I react to these videos, like you would react, um, so this one, like anything to do with the ocean is pretty scary. And I think you guys agree with me, or, or I'm sure most of you agree that the, the ocean is probably one of Mother Nature's strongest elements. Um, arguably one of uh, Mother Nature's most, I don't know, they're all pretty, the, all the elements are pretty strong, right? But but water is one of those things you just don't want to mess with, right? I mean, you, you've seen what happened in Japan with the tsunami, and you know with the bermuda triangle and you know when you get these cyclones um vortexes in the ocean okay i'm, I'm sure this is going to be interesting so let's watch you can hear the wind right that's oh wow so you hear the waves crashing Those are some steep waves. Oh, this guy's too close to the, the edge of the boat like that. See, I, I don't feel comfortable for this guy. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, now, just... Oh! Oh, I, I like this guy's videos. He has a lot of good videos. Oh, yeah, run! Run! That, this is just uncanny. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. I just want to go back here. Yeah, 
So like, you see this video, right? And they're pro, I mean, the, yeah, the, 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 this point of the boat is probably about maybe, I mean, I, I, it could be about maybe anywhere from 18 to 20 meters higher, high, uh, you know, uh, higher than the, the wave underneath it. And, and look at this slowly comes down. Boom. <sighs> That's scary. Okay. That was a good video. All right. You're not even ready to imagine the craziness we're in right now. Antarctica is the most mysterious continent in the world. A new theory is so crazy that it could completely change your perception of the oh, Earth. Oh, okay. According to this theory, Antarctica oh, is let, not let me, just let a me massive pause this for a second. We, we talked about this in the last video, right? There was um, something about this ice wall in Antarctica. Uh, and then they were showing on, on, on one side of the ice wall, they were showing, okay, so there was, you know, this huge iceberg or this landmass of ice. And then on the other side, it was like a really nice city with luscious green kind of plantation and some, you know, lakes or a little bit of a lake there, right? I don't know. Let's take a look. Continent, but rather an enormous ice wall that surrounds all the continents. In 1992, a new world map was created, the Gleason map which shows Antarctica hmm. encircling all our the continents. Gleason, uh, this theory goes even this. further. Some believe that if we manage to cross this wall, we mm -hmm. will encounter numerous other continents deliberately hidden from us by governments. So why would the government want to hide? Well, I guess for obvious reasons, the government would want to hide a lot of things from us, right? But when, when it comes to like continents, when it comes to like huge land masses, how does the government get away with hiding that stuff from us? And and how can they? I mean, we have so many, I mean, as, I mean, and there, there's so many people who study the world, like study the maps. Um, how, how could something like this just kind of slip right underneath our nose and we wouldn't know about it, right? I mean, we're talking about, you know, huge land masses with like colonies of people perhaps or just just even land masses right with cities uh, and i'm sure those cities have inhabitants so how would something like that not be noticed up until now that's my question if you guys have an answer please let me know i mean it's interesting i think i'm gonna have to spend some time trying to get a little bit more acquainted and familiar with this whole controversy or this um perhaps maybe government cover-up um the stories behind this ice wall, this Gleason, Gleason map. I'll have to check that out. The following video comes from a local news station in Peru that caught something pretty creepy on camera. The station had featured a news report oh. showing footage of a small town struck by severe weather. Okay. Residents of this town were left devastated by this natural disaster, but many of them were left totally creeped out. Yeah, okay, I, I like these kind of videos. Uh, it, it looks like a news agency was, you know, that this is kind of reporting on or piggybacking off of a, uh, a story that was done by the news and they're, they're interviewing local residents. So um, this, a lot of these kind of stories intrigue me because there's definitely, you know, when, when we're talking about that fine line between truth and, uh, you know, between reality and fiction, it's definitely somewhere down the middle and it's probably a little bit more closer to, to reality than it is fiction, right? So... Let's see what they say. After watching this broadcast, apparently something strange was captured. The segment in question starts off with footage of a school playground that appears to be completely devoid of any children. Right. Ni los juegos infantiles it looks like a flood there. Okay, yeah, so it must have been a flood. Now the reporter makes it clear that the site mm -hmm. has been abandoned as heavy rains have flooded the area. Mm -hmm. The segment then shows more footage of other sites that have also been left behind. Mm -hmm. But one clip in particular has left many viewers feeling a bit weird. In fact, they were left feeling beyond spooked upon noticing something strange in the recording. The okay. news reporter is visiting a section of the town known as Santo Domingo when out of nowhere, this happens. Desde el asentamiento humano Santo Domingo, Comité 6. Mira la escalera, ¿cómo podría bajar aquí? Una persona, un anciano, oh. 
Wow, 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 wow. Ew. Did you just see that? As the camera pans over to the base of the stairs, right. a strange figure can be seen. There. It's hard to make out what exactly is being is seen Is that like here, an alligator or... Or something is there. Okay, hold on, hold this on. This mysterious figure moves in... Hold on. Okay. You guys clearly see what I'm seeing. There's something weird there. Now, this lady's complaining. It's in San, Santa, Santa Domingo. Uh, she's complaining about this flood that obviously ransacked through this town, village, and complaining about how, how are people, how are seniors, you know, how are supposed to people, you know, how are people supposed to be climbing, going up and down these stairs? And then as the camera kind of pans towards the, the bottom of the stairs, you see this weird entity. Such a way as though struggling to get a grip on the staircase. Residents what of the town no that? doubt believe that this may have been the ghost of a victim who was claimed by this natural disaster, but it's still a mystery as to who or even what a this ghost might have been. Of a victim. Now it's worth noting that the reporter didn't notice the figure while filming, which has led viewers to believe that something supernatural was captured. But as always, you be the judge. Okay. So how do you how do you not How do you not know like you know and and it's moving right it's not like it was just still and it was you know it, it could have been maybe passed up as like a log or like some driftwood perhaps but this was was kind of going up and down like this you know in the water so not making these noises of course but um that would that would have been scary to add some audio to that but that there's definitely something I'm just wondering how the reporter does not catch whim of the fact that something's moving, right? And and that concerns me as well too, because what if, what if it was a person? What if there's somebody there who's struggling, gasping for air, trying to get some help, and the camera just kind of pans over and everyone's just kind of completely ob oblivious to this person who needs help? It's not good. Was to believe that something supernatural was captured but as always you be the judge all right in 2018 this footage of the moon was captured and shared on I social like space media. we're going to be covering a lot of aliens and a large circular object oh, seems to be orbiting stuff. the moon moving slowly and then rotating and traveling behind it Some people watching this video theorize that the object near the moon is the planet of Nibiru, mm. which is part of an end of the world prophecy. It said Earth and Nibiru would collide mm -hmm. in a cataclysmic event, effectively ending the world. It looks really. If a planet were to collide with Earth, it would be cataclysmic. It would be. Blah, 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 blah. It, it would be the end of the world? Yeah. 100%. I mean, if a meteor crashes into the into the planet, I mean, can you imagine the devastating effects that would cause, right? I mean, look what happened. Uh, a, a meteorite wiped out the last of the dinosaurs and left a huge crater in the ocean just off the coast of Mexico, right, in the Gulf of Mexico. So obviously, if a planet collides even if the moon or something like that were to collide into the earth it's going to be catastrophic so um now that that was a pretty big anomaly uh you know like i mean it looks like this was viewed from a telescope from from a great distance so um that couldn't have just been like a spacecraft or something so it, they're saying that it could be a planet tiny when we're looking at this viewfinder but if we were put this comparatively of how big it would be to the moon this is huge Right? The moon has Huge. a circumference of over 6,800 miles, meaning this object would be around 100 miles across. Hmm. Okay. I, I want to see that one more time. Way of how big it would be to the moon. This is huge. The moon has a circumference of over 6,800 miles. Mm -hmm 
meaning this object would be around 100 miles across. Hmm. Okay, so that's pretty big. Interesting. This photo was taken by hikers in Bolivia. Initially, it just looks like an attractive shot of the surrounding area, but something odd can be spotted on the other side of the lake. Zooming in closer, there appears to be a semi-transparent creature walking what along the edge of the water. Is that water. like a tree? We can see that oh, the that is not a tree. Alien, with elongated arms and legs, a rounded head, with large bulbous eyes. The creature seems to be semi-transparent and doesn't have a reflection. So is this some kind of interdimensional creature or just an elaborate hoax? So... First I thought, okay, it, actually I did kind of notice that off to the distance. So I'm looking at this picture and, and naturally it says interdimensional creature caught on camera. So, so, so my first thought is I'm glancing over this entire area and then I see some kind of a weird thing kind of like right on the other side of that of that river it looks like and yeah it definitely looked human like um but almost translucent in a way right like um didn't look as organic as as i would have liked um interesting One year, you wake up after Thanksgiving to see lots of viral videos clown. about children oh, gathered around the giant tree clown chanting things at it. Tree and you say, oh, that's creepy. Yeah, that, that, that big giant clown face on a tree, a that's, that's kind of weird. I'm surprised the Meme? kids aren't scared of that. And then everyone around you looks at you strangely, mm -hmm. your family, your friends, and they say, are you acting like you've never heard of the giant tree clown? That we don't have one ourselves in the town square, in every mall, in every church? at every school? Are you pretending that you yourself did not grow up me? participating in this ritual every year where you and the other young children would gather around the giant tree clown oh. and chant things at it until it finally opened its eyes and woke up, what happens rousting when it, it from its, its slumber so it could awake, hungry? The tree clown gets hungry? Maybe you should see a doctor, they say. Maybe you should turn yourself into the police. It's very strange, almost deviant, that you claim to not know about or worship Worship. the giant tree clown. As if you oh, doubt it. Oh, it opens its After all, where would we be in its if mouth we did not as have well. the giant tree clown to awake every year in November and then ask us to feed it a child? Okay, so this... What the heck? Okay, this guy seems pretty serious, right? So there's this giant tree clown. Looks like it's in the middle of a mall. Um, it actually looks like a Christmas tree. And it looks like a Thomas the Train kind of a face, or the face that would be on like a Thomas the Crane character. And, and he seems really serious. He's uh, he, he's he's pointing fact. He's he's trying to make um, he's trying to make a statement along the lines that this is something to be. This is I guess separate from maybe other holidays and other festivals and this is something that happens in november and how could you not know the uh, how could you not know the, the reality of the giant tree clown i mean come on it's in every church every school every every place that we normally frequent and of course who doesn't worship the giant tree clown right i i think this guy needs to get new friends because that clearly is something that happened in Christmas and he's not real. Something disturbing is caught on okay. camera. King paranormal. We, we like paranormal stuff here as well too. The Paris family was celebrating a birthday at their home. It was just the five of them. As you gotta squeeze in your text there a little bit. Uh, I don't know why video, it's... It appears that someone else had been there. Here's the footage that was taken at the party. Okay, so they're in the dark celebrating this uh, little kid's birthday party. Why are they in the dark, though? There's a... Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that? There you go, right there in the 
left hand corner now hmm and then they blow out the candles and naturally it's going to be dark child passes by in the background the Paris family was sure that no one else was there except the five of them or so they thought it appears that someone else had made it to the party somebody now, did make it to the party about the supposed child is the way it passes by it moves quickly and appears to be floating above ground as it does so the way it passes seems very unnatural. How would they know it's floating across? Uh, the Paris family can't seem to explain this, but maybe you can. Hmm. Like with most videos, this one remains a mystery. <sighs> I, I don't know what to say, guys. I mean, that to me doesn't look... I mean, it, it's hard to say, right? I mean, this family... And how do we know? How do we know it's not just the five of them, right? How do we know that they didn't have, like, four children? And one of them was just kind of running around, you know, being a little snot, you know, just whatever, right? How do we not know? We don't know, right? And then why would they be, why would they be, like, they're, they're trying to take a picture. They're celebrating their child's birthday. Why would they do that in the dark? What, what do you think is going to happen when you blow out the lights? And you got the TV going on in the background. And did you notice the TV? Was it black and white TV? But, but that wouldn't make sense. Because if you notice the girl's shirts at Planet Fitness, it looks like it's a newer video. I, I don't know. This video is still unexplained. It caused controversy a few months ago because it shows a woman who seems terrified because of one thing. Okay, where is she? Is she like in the subway? Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, yay, look at that. There's some... Okay. This, this guy's like... And she's trying her best to cover her mouth and not say anything. She's completely still if you look at her. Okay. Oh, I wanted to see that again. Oh, oh, this cat is like struggling. It looks like something's trying to pull this cat underneath the table. Oh! Something just fell on the ground. Okay. I want to see this video one more okay. time. This video is still unexplained. It caused controversy a few months ago because it shows a woman who seems yeah, terrified look, because of one thing. You got thing. this demonic, weird looking, male, man, thing, thing, monster. And it's like, kind of like just, you know, very monster like trying to creep into the frame looking around like it's smelling something maybe it's eyesight's not all there and doesn't realize that right above is this lady here's my concern let me pause so we're we're looking at the events that are unfolding before our eyes but it's supposed to be in the dark, right? Like this is all supposed to be happening in the dark. So this entity, this demonic creature, whatever it is that lives in these catacombs or tombs, you know, like underground, I'm assuming, or in an abandoned temple, um, wouldn't it not realize that there's a camera, perhaps maybe an iPhone 14, 15 in front of it filming or or something that's filming it and this lady obviously knows that there's a camera in front of her and there's the light is emulating from the camera right i mean obviously because they need light to be able to film this come on guys and then this poor cat
this, it really looks like the cat is struggling. Like something is trying to pull the cat underneath this table. It looks like there's some kind of a party, maybe a, a reception or a birthday party and the things that were on the table just went flying. But yeah, if the cat wanted to leave, the cat would have just been able to leave without any struggle. That was, that's kind of creepy. That's, that's scary. Flip was captured at three in the morning. Three in the morning. And, okay, what did they say about three in the morning? Right? Everything bad happens around three in the morning? Sorry, guys. Hang on, April 9th, 2023. Oh, April. In Albuquerque, New Mexico. So the homeowner was sleeping when the clip was recorded. It wasn't until he woke up and saw a notification on his phone that he found Oh, what happened to that lady's nose? He reviewed the footage, horrified. This is what he saw. Oh. A woman is shown trying multiple different keys to get into the house and even looking around for a hidden one. That's a big key. Like an old, like, it's not a normal key. It seems like she's got a whole bunch on her lanyard around her neck. But why is she pointing the key to the the camera? Like the doorbell camera. Like, does she think she's going to be able to unlock? Yeah, so... There's no keys up there, sorry. There's no keys up there, come on. And what what happened to her nose? That he had never seen this woman before. He said that she later started throwing rocks at his car and trying those locks. I feel like throwing rocks at something like right she now. Was under the influence of something. Multiple times she tries to insert keys into the doorbell camera itself. Yeah, that's what After I just a few said. Minutes, she walks off. She's never seen on the property again. That's a weird looking key. It looks like the barrel of a gun. Okay, that that is weird, right? So this this individual comes up at three in the morning and is trying to open the door with keys that are around their neck. Who knows where she lives? You know what? The key itself looked like the shape of a the barrel of a gun, um, and then she's trying to point it to the doorbell camera. Perhaps she doesn't know what a doorbell camera is. Maybe that's why. Maybe she thinks by touching it, kind of like a key card, you know, in a hotel, would activate, open the door. That That is kind of creepy. And, and you know what? It, it's sad because it, it could also be something related to mental health, right? And there's a lot of people around the world suffering from various mental health issues. Um, clearly, it looked like the woman's face, um, she had gone under some kind of difficulty or some kind of stress um, something's not right about that I, I hope that I hope that woman gets help I hope she finds help the two young women okay here we friends, go they're walking the streets of Peru they stop and they see something following them and when they stop and they look they record and what they see mm -hmm. is what what oh. what did they see <laughs> Ah. That's a person, right? They're doing a, a bridge pose. You can see how the way it moves his head. Yeah. That looks human like. Oh. Did it, it's turning all the way around? No. And it's going crazy like this? What the fuck? Nah. All right, turn that shit off. <laughs> turn that shit off. Okay, that was weird. So what, what they explained is that they saw, like, they don't know if it was a creature or a human, but it was walking on four legs with a head dangled in. Because it, you just saw it. Going like, crazy, bro? Wow. And that was, the way it moved its head gave me chills. When I watched it, I was like. I, I, I would, that, that is pretty freaky to see something like that, obviously, in the middle of the night, in an alley, and. It would even be freaky. It would even be creepy to see somebody doing like the bridge pose, like at that time of the night on the middle of the street and going like this with their head. I now I didn't actually like. I mean, I can't. I can't validate if the head was going in like a 360, but yeah, that is uh, that is pretty scary. Oh, we got one more video. Weren't meant to see. Oh. A man traveled to Egypt and placed a remote-controlled car inside one of the pyramids. Interesting. That'd be cool. 
That would be cool. I'd love to see that kind of footage. So where's the remote control? Is it a car? Is it like, who's that? Okay, maybe a drone. The original poster claimed to have found something the government would want to keep a secret. He also wanted to be paid $5 million for the rest of the footage. $5 million? Revealed, never did. Dollars. To be revealed? Okay. Okay, what are we seeing? Okay, so apparently they're going to show us something that's worth the equivalent of $5 million. And we get a chance to see it for the first time, folks. As it gets deeper, it shows what appears to be a tall figure inside the chamber. Oh, could be somebody looking for their remote control car. I mean... I think that's an experiment. I, I would love to see some YouTubers or, you know, TikTokers. Uh, I I'd like to see a group of guys, right? A group of people go out there to the pyramids and try that. Now, first of all, I don't even know if you're allowed to get close to the pyramids at that time of the night. Um, unattended, unauthorized access. I, I don't know if they allow that. I don't know if the, and the Egyptian, you know, like, well, the antiquities uh, team or police or even a security would even allow you to get close to to some of those sites uh, now if you do happen to do that I think that would be interesting I I would definitely like to see what kind of footage they would get right because imagine at night and and there's so much there's so much like discussion around Egypt around you know Egyptology about the myths about you know the legends like you know the, all these hidden hieroglyphs that are are still being kind of translated till today and there's people who are trying to seek special kinds of magic and different things you know like that the whole thing with the valley even the valley of the kings and the whole area is just like riddled riddled with umpteens of thousands of years of mystery. So that would be a cool little experiment. And you know what? That would get a lot of views. So if you guys have any bright ideas, I think you guys should do it. I'd watch it. And I'd put it on my channel for everybody to watch it. All right, guys. I finished my tea. And uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you like the content, please like and share, subscribe, and we'll definitely be back again. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.